Hi, how's it going? Uh, welcome back, I guess. Uh, this was not the video I was expecting to do for December, but... Oh, that's a lamp. Um, it's the one I'm doing nonetheless. So I was, um, you know, shower thoughts. You know, that's where most of, uh, most of the world's best inventions come from. And I was thinking about, you know, the Owl House, you know. It's a pretty common thing to think about in the shower, especially because of how much I like the show. Love the show, I would say. Uh, and I was thinking about, you know, we've had part one in October, and part three is slated to come out in January, and I had a little a little food for thought in my mind, and I was kind of thinking of sharing this theory with you. And it's about the collector, obviously, and that is a, kind of a topic that I avoided in my season three prediction video, mainly because I didn't know what the collector would do. I knew that they'd be the main antagonist, and I thought that the, I thought Bellas would just be gone, kind of like that, or that we would deal with him in thanks to them. But because Bellas managed to escape back to the Demon Realm, which was actually a bigger deal than a lot of people might think it is. Because for my theory and a lot of other people's theories is that we were going to take care of um, Emperor Bellas in part one, and then we would have part two and three to, you know, kind of reconcile and take care of the Collector. You know, that's the main threat. But now that Bellos is alive and back in the Demon Realm completely changes everything. And here's why. So, I'm sure you read the title, and we're going to get to that. But first, part two is almost guaranteed to be focused on Boiling Isles, obviously. But I'm thinking it's going to be before Luz and Co. show up. So it's going to be... What is happening? Well, thanks to them is happening. Except for with, you know, Ida and Rain and Lilith and Hootie and all those guys. And King and probably the Collector also. So, this is more of a theory for part three. Because in part two, uh, I believe that he is going to find out that King tricked him. That's kind of like an obvious thing. And then he's going to be kind of the main antagonist. There have been a lot of theories going around that the Boiling Isle is now going to be like the Hunger Games kind of thing where everybody's fighting and they're all scavenging for food or whatever. I don't think so, honestly. I think they're all going to kind of work together to like stop the Collector and then King is going to be like trying to also stop the Collector but from like a different angle, more of a harmless approach, you know? Trying to reason with the Collector, trying to get the Collector to do what he wants, kind of like manipulate him, kind of like uh, Bellows did. So, I think that by the end of the Part 2 special of Season 3, uh, the Collector will be on our side. Or our side for the most part, because by this point, Luz and Co. and Emperor Bellos will be back on the Boiling Isles. And then we'll have all of Part 3 to deal with that and whatever. And now that we've got that part out of the way, uh, here is what my theory is going to be for Part 3, assuming Part 2 happens the way that it does. So now we have the Collector on our side, right? Good guy. And because he was never, ever portrayed as a bad guy. He was portrayed as like a lonely kid. Even when he got out, he was playful. But he was like not evil, but not good because he just straight up killed Bellos. And then he was probably going to kill Luzenko before uh, King stepped in. So he's kind of like this chaotic, neutral, like just kind of kid that doesn't know what to do with his powers. Who's also very lonely, as we saw in like those King uh visions when he was combined with the collector uh we saw that he was very lonely right so this all combined uh and jen just like i feel like by the end of part two king and the collector will have genuinely formed a bond whether it's like fake for king to get to the collector to do what he wants or like a real one i feel like they will bond and then you know work together in part three along with the rest of the boiling isles to finally defeat slash kill slash whatever uh bellows you know uh and the first reason i think that the collector is going to sacrifice himself because you all read the title and you all know that's what the theory is uh is that the tablet broke right in the season two finale uh when king let the collector loose <laughs> loose um the collector, or uh, the tablet that had the collector in it was breaking in half, right? And then, you know, the collector was free, killed Bellus, and then, you know, that sort of events happened. So there's no going back to the tablet. 
So either by the end of the series, the collector is just going to be walking around the boiling aisles, you know, doing what he does, or the collector will have, you know, died, passed on, whatever. Now, I just think it's more likely that he would have passed on rather than him just being like a normal society in like Bonesville or whatever it's called. Just like walking around, you know, the collector kid, just whatever. That seems very unlikely to me. And they could take it a different approach. Like he's the god of the world. But that also doesn't make sense because, you know, he's a kid. He doesn't want responsibility because he like yelled at King when he called him uh, sir or whatever. Because he's not professional. He's a kid. So he doesn't want all that power. So I think with all this combined, the friendship between him and King and Bellos being back, as well as the tablet being broken will lead to a sacrifice. Probably taking out Bellos, because that's what makes sense, you know. Who else would he be taking out? Because Bellos is going to be back in the Boiling Isles. He is going to be out for blood for the witches, because right now the Day of Unity is over, and he is in, like, his monstrous green form. So he's going to go back and try and commit mass genocide again on everybody. And I feel like, at this point, when the Collector's all befriended and realize that what he's doing is wrong... He's going to fight on the side of the heroes and probably die killing Bellos or something. And then, I don't know, they could do like a scene with Caleb and Philip or like a flashback or something. Uh, when Bellos dies, I think that would be pretty cool. But I also think because in the season three premiere, there was two shots where Luz looked up at her bed frame. And there was like a sun and a moon that looked very, very similar to... The Collector, obviously. I think this is foreshadowing. Because obviously it's because, you know, the Collector's terrorizing her friends. But it's also that she's looking up at the Collector. Before, like, taking her hand back down. It could be that, like, at the end of the series, when the Collector sacrifices himself, Luz and Co. will look up and be like... And they'll see, like, a star or something that will resemble the Collector, you know? Something along those lines makes sense. And I'm very sure... That if the Collector does sacrifice himself, it will be very sad. I feel like the Owl House team has the balls to kill somebody off. Because obviously in like its sister show Amphibia, as well as another Disney show Gravity Falls, that both had like sacrifice moments in their finales. I won't spoil what they are. Uh, they kind of retcon them immediately after. But I feel like the Owl House has more more balls to be like, yeah, we're killing the Collector and we're killing him for good, you know? But it would have to be good at the same time. I don't want to get like, I don't know, because I feel like this could either be really rushed or really good. And I really want it to be good, but I can also see it being rushed. So I don't know. And honestly, that's all I really have to say. So this is a bit of a shorter video for you. Uh, it was kind of another season three prediction video extension, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. It's a little shorter than usual. I'm trying to keep the videos monthly on this channel, so come back usually every month. Uh, next month will be January, and I will pl I'm will. i planning on doing a review of Inside Job, Part 1 and Part 2. I have a lot of say on that show. Uh, but since I just did the Dead End video, and you know, nobody really watched it, it, made me kind of feel like I put all that work in for nothing. So I wanted to get a smaller video out before I did another bigger project, and especially because I have a huge project coming in March. And I really hope you guys are excited for that. No spoilers yet, but I think you will like it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap things down here. Take care of yourself and all is important. And I will see you all in my next video. And thank you for watching. I forgot to say that. So take care of yourselves and uh, bye bye